what is going on guys it is saturday which means there are brand new ultimate boss legends in madden 16 ultimate team guys we are going to rip some packs today and try and pull a brand new antonio cromarty or rob gronkowski guys they just got added to the game today I have not pulled any boss cards yet this year, hoping to change that today. And guys, we have some packs to tr potentially make that happen. Hopefully we can do it. Guys, the brand new packs that are in the game right now, red zone packs, Ronnie Lott on the cover, very cool looking cards, by the way. Again, shout out to Pixel Pusher. He is the absolute man with the card art this year. These things look amazing. So guys, what we're gonna be doing today is ripping the three Easter red zone pack bundle. Uh, each Easter pack is gonna give you one elite off season program player, two Easter items, 15 gold or better players, and four team items. Now, we're gonna open up three of those in the pack, of course, and then we're also gonna get a topper that gives us guaranteed one legend player and a chance at an ultimate legend. So, there is a potential that we could potentially get the uh, Cromarty or the Gronkowski. I don't know if you can actually pull any of the other ultimate legends that have been in the game yet or not. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how that works when I say, uh, what I mean is the boss legends. I don't know if you can actually pull any of the other boss legends that are in the game right now, but, um, uh, you know, it would be epic if you could. I, I mean, you probably are going to have a chance of getting, um, you know, one of the older ultimate legends, but either way, man, if you can get one of those, that would be freaking amazing. Um, I don't really have a whole lot of legends on my team right now, so hopefully we can make this happen, guys. Wish me some luck. Let's open up these packs, baby. Let's do it. All right, man. First pack. Let's go. Ronnie Lott, wish me some luck, dude. I need some freaking luck. And we get the very first card is a final edition Ryan Fitzpatrick. I don't think it goes for a lot, but hey, we're starting things off strong with an elite. Definitely could be worse. Let's keep going through it. All right, Chris Chester. And we get a Justin Fowler final edition. Nice. I actually think that the uh, Justin Fowler might be going for a decent amount, but I'm not exactly sure. It's an elite, so you never know. And we do get an e a green Easter egg, so I haven't really seen anything regarding like leaks or any information on what are in these actual Easter uh, eggs. It's not like the Christmas promo where I pretty much had a good idea of what was in each one because they didn't really do a great job of protecting it. Uh, and when I say that, I mean like the actual card art on the holiday promo, the Christmas promo actually pretty much showed you what was inside of them if you really paid close attention. Uh, these though, it's really not anything giving it away it doesn't look like. I mean, if you look at it, it's just a painted egg. So uh, unfortunately, there isn't really a whole lot of information to get out of those. We do get a, get a green and then a yellow. Um, Harrelson there and Julian Edelman. Reggie Bush, again, one of my favorite players of all time. Um, and then we get a Jason Pierre-Paul Elite. Okay, so we, what is that? Three Elites in this pack? I mean, these packs are 250,000 coins. So, I mean, certainly you should be able to get some Elites out of them. But um, it's kind of nice to pull three of them. Getting a lot of golds here. I mean, I know that you get 15 gold or better players. And there they are. So, a lot of just standard gold players. But we do get Jason Pierre-Paul. A couple of the Easter Eggs. And then we get two Final Edition players as well. So let's open up the next one. All right, second pack. Come on. We need some luck here, man. We need some luck. It might all come... Oh, that scared the crap out of me. But we get a Prince of Mukamara. Nice campus hero. Um, I'm not sure what that's going for right now. Hopefully something decent. But, oh, man, when I saw that red, for some reason I thought it was a boss card. That would have... Oh my goodness. And then we get an Alan Hearns final edition. So we're definitely pulling some elites right now. This is definitely uh, good as far as just like number of elites. I mean, thankfully we're getting something. Even though I know not all of the elites are going for much. Like Granite Flowers is pretty much one of the cheapest ones you can get. But hey, we get it and that's decent enough. So we get another green egg, another orange egg. I think I have multiple of all of those and the yellow one. So those ones are probably not very rare would be my guess. Probably ones that you could sell and not really be too worried about what's going to end up being in them. Final Easter pack is we get another yellow egg. So I think we've gotten one of those in each of our three packs so far. So uh, again, probably not very rare. And then uh, let's see here. Anything else in this pack? We get another orange one. So that's the second one of this pack opening. Come on. Give me some more elites. Give me something really nice. Let's wrap up this with something really nice. There we go. A Byron Jones, all rookie. I'm a big fan of Byron Jones. Guys, if you don't know, I'm a Cowboys fan. Yes, I'm wearing a Rodney Harrison Patriots jersey right now. That's just because I wear all kinds of different jerseys. But Cowboys are my team. Byron Jones, I'm really hoping that he can, you know, pick up where he left off this past year and uh, really become an elite player for the Cowboys because our secondary desperately needs it. That's a nice pull, though. I'm definitely excited to see that. I'm sure he's got great jumping attributes. Actually, let's quick take a look at him. I think he probably has really nice jumping attributes because he's pretty much known for having ridiculous jumping. Yeah, 101 jumping. I'm not surprised. Really, really nice there. So hopefully he's somebody that can go up and stop that aggressive catch a little bit for me. 
And let's see here. We get a... Oh, my gosh. I don't even know how to pronounce this. Haoli Kaha Kikaha. Oh, my gosh. We pull uh, two all-rookie cards. That's not too bad. I mean, definitely could be worse. All right, guys. Now, it's all going to come down to if we can pull anything decent out of our legend player. We get one player out of this. Only one chance to pull something good. Oh, man. I hate doing any, any things like this because it's like you can either hit really hard or miss really, really hard. I hope that there's an Antonio Cromartie in there or a Rob Gronkowski. Those are both going for 3 million coins right now at the time of me making this video. So wish me some luck, guys. Let's do it. I'm closing my eyes. I don't even want to look. Ah! And it's Steve Hutchinson. These nuts. <laughs> Got him. Probably one of the worst ones that I could have pulled. Son of a bitch, man. Damn it. Come on. I wish I could have got something better. But as you guys can see, we do have 20 quick sells to do, large quick sells. I will be doing that over the next couple of days. So if you guys want to see that video sooner, be sure to drop a like on this video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, again, drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll talk to you guys again soon.